I'm Dr. Anthony Malouf of Eyes and Faces and Cornea and Ocular Plastic Surgery in Sydney and welcome to this video edition on Inflammation versus Infection. Patients will often come in with a problem and they say it was infected, my eye was infected, my wound was infected, whatever. They throw around that word infected. Now, let's leave semantics aside. Doctors tell patients things are infected and quite often that's not the case because there's a very big difference between infection and inflammation. Let's start with inflammation. What is inflammation? Well, it's your body's fire. It's the way your body fights off problems, whether it's an infection or something else. If you fall over and injure yourself, you'll get a red uh, area of skin where you fall. That's inflammation. It goes red because your body's injury response triggers an inflammatory response. You take anti-inflammatories. However, you can develop inflammation when you have an infection. An infection refers to contamination of your body tissues by some sort of microbial pathogen outside the body, whether it be a fungus, a virus or whatever. That's an infection. And infections can be on the surface or go deep, but they trigger inflammation. They trigger inflammation and inflammation acts to kill the infection. So all these I words, it is confusing, but it's very important because it dictates what you feel and the course of your treatment. So just remember this. Inflammation is your body's response. Infection is a bug getting into your body. There's one other thing that's important. Inflammation can actually destroy your own body. Your body can trigger an inflammatory response and melt your arm off. Uh, and that happens in things called autoimmune diseases. And that's why inflammation is very different to infection. I hope that makes sense. Think about the words. I'm Dr. Anthony Lee from Eyes and Faces and Corneal Oculoplastic Surgery in Sydney, and thanks for watching.